Hello everyone, I'm happy to join the Panasonic Toughbook Manufacturing event. I'm Lara, the voice of Deloitte Innovation and I'm going to show you our Smart Factory today. The main goal of the Smart Factory is to make the manufacturer more comfortable with the new technologies of Industry 4.0. I know how abstract it is and therefore we want to apply the theory into practical work. This, for example, is one of our technologies which we want to present to our customers for the industry 4.0. For me, it's really interesting how the humans work with machines. This box, for example, has an RFID tag and when you scan it, the reader sends the order to the mobile device, which also gives the order to the cobot. And therefore, the cobot produces the axis of the digger. Hi Britta, nice to see you again. As you are the first contact person for our customers, I want to ask you, what are the biggest challenges in the manufacturing field? So, we are talking here about digital transformation. So, of course, people are always the biggest challenge. Um, because this is not an IT project, it's actually um, a transformation where you have to take the people with you on the whole journey. Um, additionally, we have um, very often the experience that this is such a big field that our clients have trouble to actually make mm -hmm. a project out of this where they have the feeling this is something I can make su successful to actually cut it into digestible pe uh, pieces. So now, if the factory of the future would be a person, what characteristic would it have? If I, if I would meet the factory of the future, I think she would be super smart, of course, and uh, in her super smartness, she would be human-centric. Um, she would think about and consider sustainability. Um, and of course, she will be super flexible. And this from a physical and mental perspective. Here you can see how I manage a warehouse virtually. This is good for educational reason for trainees and also to optimize the processes. Ah, here. So, what is your advice for companies on their way to the smart factory of the future? So, at Deloitte we have this Imagine Deliver Run approach and of course this works for factory of the future projects too. So, at the beginning, think broadly, imagine what is possible then deliver. So, you know, start somewhere, create real value that is like visible for a lot of people and then scale. Because only when you scale, you get like real business impact. And then always make sure that you act as a nucleus so that you actually transform your whole function and not as a satellite that basically is disconnected or only connected very thinly with uh, the core business. Britta, you built your whole career in manufacturing. What inspires you the most? So I think from a professional point of view, I used to be a plant manager, actually an international plant manager. So I was uh, managing a plant in China and in Serbia. And I think if you would have had like the tools that we have today, um, for example, in training or in maintenance, it would have been a complete different way of working. And now when I imagine what is possible in the future with the exponential like development of technology. Um, this is just something I think is fascinating and yeah. it's great to be part of it. I hope you enjoyed this little tour and I'm really curious to hear your questions in the Q&A. See you! Perfect, right, Lara, Britta, great to, uh, great to have you with us. We've got some, got some questions. So I'm going to um, send them across um, to both and then, yeah, hopefully we can get them all answered in, uh, in time. So first one we have is which emergency technologies you think will be the must haves in the next five years for digital operations in manufacturing? That's the first question. Yeah, I mean, so and, and the question is, what do you call emerging, right? Um, but when you see about um, 
what is actually transforming um, like operation and making um, a lot of things possible that were impossible before. I would definitely see cloud and, you know, like transforming um, uh, like more or moving more of the operational technologies uh, to the cloud is definitely like one technology that will make a big impact over the next years while it's uh, proceeding. And then, of course, um, the collection of data and the usage of uh, of um, AI. Perfect. OK, no, that's 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 great. I mean, um, OK, so we've got a couple more questions. How do you see the role of mobile devices in the future digital factories? So mobile devices in the future of digital factories. How do you see them? So and um, and, and again, I think we have seen a, a, a big improvement already over the last like four or five years from, you know, when I see about the first um, um, the first uh, like, you know, smart glasses or devices that we were having in our smart factory about mm -hmm. to kind of like um, where where the devices are now. I think you can already see that uh, it has been a big improvement. And I think um, the 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 development of the devices together with then you know the connectivity of those devices for example through 5g etc mm -hmm. i think once those two technologies get together um mm -hmm. we will use those devices a lot more right now i think we still have the topic of connectivity together with that a lot of those devices are not very good in handling so this is why i personally have not seen like a the biggest breakthrough in all applications. So I think mm -hmm. we have maintenance and other things where you can already see where it's almost standard. But I think to have an overall operations application, um, there we will see a, a big improvement over the next, I would say, maybe two, three years once 5G is uh, a standard everywhere and the devices have evolved even a, a little bit more, in, at least when we think about variables. Yeah, I mean, it's it's, it's interesting because you probably saw my eyes kind of flicker across. We actually had, yeah. um, you mentioned about, um, you know, smart glasses and a couple of questions we've had have been around that that technology. So one at the minute, so seeing VR glasses. Um, so what about XR, MR with augmented reality and IoT? So I'm not an expert on, on smart glasses, but that's that's a question around XR with aug augmented reality. Is that something you're you're familiar with? Um, yeah, and and again, and I mean, since the the I mean, so we are talking always about like you know scalability and the and and about good solution when everything gets together. So again, I think augmented reality is a is a great tool when you have the right overlays. So when we actually have, you know, when we're thinking about digital twin and having the data already available to mm -hmm. overlay, for example, a machine for maintenance, then that's a perfect technology and perfect to use. But right now we have a lot, like very often the problem that in the brownfield, you don't have the data available to actually build the overlays to have already a scalable approach for, you, for example, all your machines and maintenance to do that. Um, so, and again, so I think looking forward and seeing the, you know, the acceleration that we see in digital twins, you know, like availability of 3D models, etc. I think augmented will 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 make a will make a huge jump. Um, so I must say about virtual reality there, I, I have mixed feelings, but probably because I'm so old. So and I'm not Is a gamer. It? So um, I see too a lot of, you know, a lot of advantages happening there. Um, so but there I'm more personally in a waiting position compared yeah. to for example augmented reality where i'm a i'm a believer <laughs> yeah now I, I i totally i mean I, I totally understand and appreciate that i mean vir virtual reality you know benefits for you know for training and you know kind of safe simula simulation yeah. augmented brings a whole different you know it's a whole different ball game in terms of actually in the in the operatives exactly. world and doing yeah you know, doing i mean bringing actions. together basically you know virtual and you know physical so this is what we all want to do when we talk about digitalization and i mean augmented is basically doing this like literally not just perfect, perfect.